My name is Michelle Butler, the mother of Curtis Zakeith Means. I was pregnant for 21 weeks and one day when I gave birth on July 5th, 2020. Everything was going good. I thought I was going to carry them all the way up until my due date. Didn't know like all the commotion was going on where they were trying to, you know, continue to ask me how far along I was. They kept on asking me, like, are you sure, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure, 21 weeks. So his birth was a complete shock. I was called by my obstetrical colleagues that Curtis's mom was in the labor and delivery and she was precipitously about to deliver. And they wanted me to go in and talk to her about the poor prognosis of babies being born at 21 weeks and one day. And mom's uh, question to me was, can we give my babies a chance? It was very stressful. I was in the hospital for about four days and I got discharged and Curtis spent 275 days in the hospital. Initially, Curtis was on a lot of breathing support and medications for his heart and lungs to keep him alive. And then over the next uh, several weeks, we were able to decrease the amount of support and help that we were giving him. And then when he was about three months old, we were able to finally take him off the ventilator. And eventually, when he was about nine months old, we were able to send him home just on a nasal cannula oxygen and also with uh, feeds through a gastrostomy tube. When Curtis was discharged, there was so much excitement in the unit. Curtis was a, a special young man and it was something unique about him and it was much excitement. Everyone was taking pictures with him and his mom with her permission. His health has been good. He has oxygen. He's on a half a liter of oxygen right now and he's on medication to help with his fluid in his body for his lungs and some medicine for his hypertension. He, he's good with me. <laughs> he's awesome. Jump, spit at you, scratch you, fall out on you, raise his voice at you. My family support is real good. I even got family in Michigan where if they videoed me just about every day to see him. They still video us, and I got my support team right here. There's, they see him every day. They can't go a day without seeing him. And then my kids, they help me out a lot too. Survival at this gestational age has never happened before. So before Curtis was born, his chances of survival would have been less than 1%. Well, the first thing went through my mind, I'm excited for Curtis and his mother. Um, the mom made the first campaign for Curtis to, to be alive. She was a champion for her baby. Uh, she spoke up for her baby. And I, I'm, I'm so thankful that we listened to her. The doctor had told me that he was the smallest baby. When I got discharged from the hospital, he came and spoke with me and told me that he still did his research and he still considered the smallest baby that was born premature. Setting this record is a blessing that he has accomplished and I'm thankful that they accepted him for the Guinness of Records. I'm very proud because where he came from and where he at now, I could tell the difference in him.